motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS, high-performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. Hey, Peace Family Queen here. Welcome to another episode. Before we get started here, let's take a deep breath. Let's get in the present moment. Ah, I love doing that. Just getting still and getting into the present moment. All right, so in this episode... um, This is probably going to be one of those in-your-face episodes. Um, If you're a frequent listener, then you know that's kind of my style. Anyways, no BS. Let's get straight to the core. Let's fix whatever the issues are. So this episode, we're talking about why your prayers are not working. Now, first and foremost, disclaimer, I'm not a religious person. Another disclaimer, I don't want to offend you if you are a religious person, right? I come from a more spiritual uh, science type of uh, mentality as far as uh, this whole deity thing. I don't personally believe there is some deity outside of me that's going to part the skies and come down with the magic wand and, and save me. I just, there's, there's too much evidence um, to prove that that does not exist. But anyways, you may have a belief in a deity, and that's okay. Because this, this, what I'm going to talk about is going to, it works for um, the religious-minded person that believes in an external deity, and it works for the spiritual-minded person that does not have that belief. Okay, so either way, all right. So don't take any offense. Don't take it personal. Let's just dive in. Let's talk about tools, things to help you. So when you're praying, right? Um, typically. When people are praying, they are praying for something outside of themselves, outside of themselves to solve whatever the issue or the situation is that they're trying to make better. Okay. Now, oftentimes than not, people do this. They pray, pray, pray. I'll give you an example of myself because that's um, the most intimate relationship that I have the most intimate experiences that I have is with myself. So when I was trying to lose weight, right? My highest weight was 250 pounds, obese vegan. I would pray, 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 right? Um, Not necessarily pray. Um, Again, I don't believe in an outside deity, but I would say, right? Speaking is, 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 is commanding, is actually prayer. But anyway, that's a whole nother podcast episode. I would say, hey, I want to lose weight. I want to get fit. I want to be healthy. And then guess what I would do? I would go bag and grab a Cheetos. I would go uh, grab some chocolate or something like that. That wasn't healthy for me. At the same time, chewing the chocolate... And eating the bag of Cheetos, I'm saying I want to be healthy. <laughs> I, I, I want to be fit. Like, really? No, you don't. Because your actions are saying something totally different. So if you're praying for something to come in your life or to change, and you're not getting into action, see, the action is what binds that thing into your reality. The action is what makes whatever that thing is that you're praying about, thinking about, dreaming about, makes it manifest. So you can't just sit. This is, let me tell you something. If you ever watched The Secret, which I know some years ago, it became very popular, right? And um, it was good because it brought people into uh, the awareness of the law of attraction, right? But it failed miserably in the fact that it didn't get into 
the action steps that people need to take in order to make things manifest. So you can't just sit on your ass and just say you want something or say, you know, you want a certain change in your life and not do anything towards binding that thing into you, aligning yourself with that and having it manifest. You got to get into action. Okay. So, um, when I, when I do pray and I don't really use that term, but when, when I do pray, I'm really talking to my higher self. I'm talking to my higher consciousness, that consciousness that is directly connected to the divine consciousness, that consciousness that is directly connected to infinite possibilities throughout this entire universe. If you want to call that God, so be it, right? But that divine intelligence, that is what my higher consciousness is connected to. And that is what I talk to, right? That is what I talk to. That little voice in your head, that's that voice. It, it's, it's really your voice. It's your voice, okay? You may not want to believe it or not. But yeah, look at all the science and the data around this in consciousness. And you'll come to find that it's your voice. But anyway, again, don't want to offend anybody. Um, another example, right? When um, I would try to start all these different businesses, you know, I, I remember just being young, um, being poor, you know, not having the fanciest clothes and all this kind of stuff in school. Kids laughing at me because I would have on not the latest name brand blue jeans or whatever. You know, um, I said to myself, man, when I get older, I'm going to make so much money. I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm going to be able to buy whatever it is that I want. Right. So I knew early on that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I knew early on that I wanted to call my own shots, do my own thing, build my own dreams. I knew that early on. Now, you know, entrepreneurship, it takes some tinkering. It takes some, you know, you got to, you got to go through some stuff, you know, and if, if you're an entrepreneur, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You got to go through some stuff. So, you know, there would be ideas that would come my way and, uh, different opportunities that would come my way. And, um, mind you, you know, my, 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 um, dream is financial independence. You know, when I was dreaming about financial independence, opportunities will come across my desk left and right. Boom, boom. Universe just sending me all types of opportunities and I'm not acting on those opportunities. Right? So it's like on one hand, you're praying for this thing and, and opportunities show up to have that thing manifest in your life. And then you got your arms folded. You're not doing anything about it. Like, you know, if there is some, you know, fairy godfather, fairy godmother in the sky with the wand, I'm sure they're looking at you like, what the hell? Like I'm sending you all of these opportunities. I'm sending you these different people. You say you want love. I'm sending you people. You say you want money. I'm sending you business opportunities. You say you want health. There's a whole internet out here with knowledge so that you can get the health and, and love and, and money and everything that you want, but you're not taking action. You're not taking action. So you have to ask yourself, do you really want that thing? Or are you just infatuated with the conversations around that thing? See, I know a lot of people, a lot of people, if you ask 10 people right now, if you ask 10 people right now, do you want to be rich? Every single one of them, every single one of them will tell you absolutely, without a doubt, absolutely. And then you ask them, what are you doing day to day to make that dream manifest in your life? Probably nine out of 10 of them will tell you absolutely nothing. I just want to be rich. No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. So you have to get on the frequency of the thing that it is that you want to show up in your life. You can't just pray about it, sit on your ass and do nothing. That's not how it works. You pray about it. You throw it out there in the ether. You throw it out there in the cosmos. Give it up to the divine, as I like to say. And then what do you do? Every single day. You are working towards that manifestation every single day. You are doing bit by bit to chip away 
at making that thing show up in your life. Because what you are doing is you are getting on the frequency of that thing. That's law of attraction. That's like attracting like. That's how you do that, right? So you got to ask yourself and be real, be real with yourself. Do I really want this thing or am I just infatuated with talking about it? Do I really want this thing or am I just infatuated with talking about it? And then if you just come to the realization that you're just infatuated with talking about it, own it. Own it. But if you say, you know what? No, I really want this thing. Then, you know, what do you need to do? What do you need to do every single day? Write out a list of all the different action steps that you need to take, right? Because there, 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 there is action. You know, in the secret, again, why I say they failed miserably is because they just show images of people imagining, thinking, dreaming, wishing, praying, and then shit just falling from the sky. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't fairyland. This ain't Disneyland. <laughs> you know, like this is not. I mean, it is in a sense <laughs> because we're in this uh, three dimensional holographic universe. You can make it your fairyland. You can make it your Disneyland. Right. But you have to do the action. You got to do those actions. Man, I got things manifesting all around me. Why? Because I'm vibrating and I continue to vibrate. I continue to vibrate high. I continue to operate from a frequency of love and gratitude. I continue to surround myself with people that are on that same type of frequency, right? And not even dealing with anything of a low vibration. That's the first thing, right? You're saying you want all of this. I can remember, you know, way back early on in my uh, entrepreneur um ship or, or what have you, uh, you know, trying to, trying to get businesses going and things like that. Um, uh, like in my early, early twenties and the, the friends that I had at that time, they were just, pff, they were thinking like 20 year olds. I'm thinking like at 20, I'm thinking like 50 year olds. You know what I mean? Like I'm just thinking way ahead of my peers. And I realized, you know, I got to get from around these people because they're not vibrating at a, a level where I want to be. You know, they're thinking about the weekend, going to the club or getting hair done and, and, and going to the mall. And, and I'm like, uh, let's figure out how we can uh, feed the starving. Let's put some humanitarian projects together. Or what about the money? Let's figure, figure out how we can do some investments. Like I'm on that level. You know, in my early 20s. So I had to figure out, you know, you have to, everything has to, everything has to be in harmony. Your thoughts, the people around you, the mental food that you're feeding yourself. Yes, the mental food that you're feeding yourself, right? All of that has to be in harmony. And then your actions, your actions have to align up with the thoughts and the prayers and the wishes that you want for yourself. The action is really the glue that gives you the manifestation. So I don't want to make this any longer. I can preach on this all day long. And I do say preach because I can get in preacher mode on this one. This is a pet peeve of mine. People, you know, saying, you know, they want this, they want that. They want this to show up in their life. And they're not doing absolutely nothing to make it happen. Absolutely nothing. Just lip service. Just lip service. Come on. Lip service. Come on. You know, get into action and then your prayers can manifest. Right. But you got to get into action. You got to make it happen. And understand this. If you have a vision or something that comes to you, trust and believe that the resources, the people, the money, the capital, everything that you need it will come to you as long as you get into action. As long as you get into action, trust me. The Stranger's Secret, the author says, success is the constant pursuit of a worthy ideal. That is success. So each day that you're getting into action towards that thing that you want or those things that you want, you are a success right now. As long as you are in action, you are a success right now. So think about the end goal 
of that thing blossoming in your life and you feel so good. You feel so accomplished. You feel so grateful. You don't have to wait. You can have that feeling right now. And you should have that feeling right now because now you are beaming that frequency out into the universe. And guess what's going to show up for you? (laughs) Everything that you need for it to physically manifest. So get into action, my friend. Peace and unconditional love to you. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe via iTunes and Google Play for upcoming episodes. If you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level, book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website, nobscloser.com. Again, that's N-O-B-S-C-L-O-S-E-R.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.